Well, as a woman in this society, speaking about your intimate health is definitely frowned upon. So when you hear a female talking about it, you're like, wow, well, she's brave, she can talk about that. And they look at you funny, but it could happen to you, it could happen to your sister, it could happen to anyone. I feel like if you're a woman who needs to speak about her intimate health to a professional, it's always a bit of a difficult situation where you have to awkwardly go into a, a waiting room full of sort of Justin Bieber lookalikes. It's definitely a taboo. I think in general women tend to keep this problem inside. I've never done this with a guy. I wouldn't feel comfortable and I think he wouldn't be comfortable. He's not sexy, so yeah. Hi, I'm Giulia Tomazello and I'm the designer of the project Future Flora. Future Flora is a kit designed for women where the woman can make her own sanitary pad with bacteria and wear it in the underwear to treat and prevent candida infection. A candida infection is this specific scenario where we have an imbalance in the types of microorganisms that grow in a particular place and when candida is allowed to grow more than it would normally grow, that's when you get the symptoms of the disease of thrush. I know very little about skin microflora. So the relationship between microorganisms and the human body is extremely complex. Uh, evolutionarily speaking, uh, microorganisms are uh, the reason why we could evolve. Uh, their intricate interaction um, has enabled multicellular organisms to thrive. Um, so to this day, we sort of draw the line between this intricate relationship between them being part of us and them being separate from us. Um, so the only way that I could describe the relationship between microorganisms and humans is probably by saying it's very tight. My name is Ariana and I graduated uh, in Biological Sciences from Birkbeck University of London. I've been learning and researching uh, in many different areas including bioinformatics, tissue engineering, biochemistry and microbiology. So the definition of biophilia is an affinity to anything that is living. Uh, we might be aware of this um, in things like having pets or wanting to research microorganisms and to find out how they behave and what they do what they do. So with the kit the woman can make actually her own sanitary pad with bacteria that she can wear in her panties and treat her candida. The kit is made of uh, scientific tools that will guide the woman to make the pad as a biologist and also an instruction kit that will make her an active participant in the knowledge of science. The pad is a agar agar, the same uh, gelatin that biologists use to make bacteria and the bacteria that she will swab is uh, probiotics, so lactobacillus and the range of the healthy bacteria that we have in our vagina. So when she will make her own pad with bacteria, she will uh, take it with the tweezer and place it on the underwear and she will wear it. We're actually made of bacteria. We're actually 90% of bacteria and uh, just 10% of human cells. Being able to take care of yourself is empowering it's because you, you are kind of independent and you don't need anyone else. And being able to take care of your body means also knowledge and knowledge is power is gonna happen. I mean, in the future I don't see any hospital. The only hospital I see is in your home and the only doctor I see is yourself. And it's not scary, I think it's something really, you know, natural. At the end of the day, uh, and I say this all the time, I would like to do for the body what the internet has done for the mind. Uh, we, we are so caught up in our minds that have been freed by the internet and we feel like we can read anything and think everything and find out anything uh, but we have to remember that we are still in our bodies at the end of the day and that's what we have to free. We need to start with the basics to know what's going on with our bodies. Do it yourself. Get power. <laughs> no.